So we are playing against Talia and Lissandra. I think I'm keeping this concurrent timeline. We having such a good hand but I need some early game blocker. Concurrent timeline is good but I don't think we need some early game blocker since he, he is also a slow deck and I'm keeping this thermogenic beam so that I can trigger the effect of my politician or max seeker mm, we don't have a better play here too a dark cloud looms on the horizon. and I don't think I want to use my thermogenic beam into Lissandra so useless. Uh, but my for the fallen can be. We can discard the for the fallen see we don't to use it. But unfortunately, we are drawing fungal surgeon because we can uh, discard the for demasia instead of our faultician. The cold creeps in. Probably will play a thermogenic beam here so that I can leveling up my unstable faultician. Let's try to advance the landmark of the frozen troll. We are keep passing. And he is burning some spell mana which is good. I think we pick the fuse firebrands, a dragon with spell seal, and also a quick attack. I think this one is pretty disgusting. <laughs> 9 damage dragon with quick attack and spell shield is really disgusting, I believe. Winter, thank you. There's nothing we can do with Ice Spell Archer since it doesn't. Uh, it resolves immediately and can and penetrate our spell seal because it isn't a skill or spell. He's about to summon his Frostquad Troll. Hopefully he doesn't have advanced advanced um, landmark spell, but I need to develop some unit. If I'm playing Lux here, I cannot play another unit. So probably I will drop. I think Fungward Surgeon is good, but it turns out it become a lower style lower stats unit. I pick Crimson Creators because Crimson Crimson Creator have a ongoing effect. Every time he get hurt, it will generate us a unit. I think we draw being Mexico here. And Fungward Lookout have a good body to block the four squad from. And we also can pull his. Probably just pulling his Ice Fell Archer with my Lookout Fungward. Even my. My dragon is bigger than his frost control. Oh, he doesn't block here. 
And I think I will just yeah. thermogenic beam his cross yeah. squadron. Promising future. Class of Membranes is good to help us leveling up our Lux. So Lux is a good blocker since he have a barrier we can block. We can block his force guard without losing any unit. And I don't want to trap my spell seal quick attack dragon with his force guard troll. But I need to find a way to remove his Draglorn too. The reason I'm not blocking with Lux because I'm afraid that he have the eye shard. Even though, even though I drop the Lux to block his force guard in the first place, but we should assume that he still have the eye shard to remove our Lux barrier. Since he is very confident with his attack. Black to drive in. So we are looking losing our Fungard lookout. Fortunately we have a toughness in our rider. I'm going to play for Dimasia and leveling up my Lux here. I also have Final Spark to kill his Draglorn. I think, or maybe we can just pull his drag lord since our rider have a uh, tough. I'm playing final spark into his Talia first. Probably it is better to play Final Spark into his uh, Frost God Trial instead of Talia, since I cannot attack with Lux because he still have a bigger, bigger power unit with his Frost God Trial. So he's summoning his. Two of his Frostwood Trial, which is a problem for us. And I like to develop here because I don't want to block with my Lux. Mexican Incitor have a good stat. And Shrieking Spinner have a better health, which means we can block more damage from the overwhelm cross control hopefully he is uh, developing first so that i can drop my citria and make our unit have a bigger health we are dropping our citria Wow, I think Atakan can be our win condition here, but I also like see who wonders since he have a regeneration. I mean she have she has regeneration. 
but Atakan is the real the real win condition here. So he managed to summon the Watcher too, which means which means he will obliterate most of our deck. Even my dragon is bigger than his um, watcher, <laughs> so that I can block the watcher with my dragon. I cannot play out of travelers here because we are really low in card in our deck so I don't want to mill ourselves. So if he doesn't have answer for my Atakan he will lose in this turn. But probably he still have a flash freeze. 57 damage is disgusting. Probably he have a frostbite. Play sister and play plus risk. I shard. I shard doesn't do anything, I guess. But he get a free I shard, so he played anyway. Before he losing his Lissandra and take damage from his eyes start into his Nexus. My dragon is really disgusting. 24 damage with quick attack and challengers and also fury. But it already lost his spell shield. Um, I try to generate some 6 cost spells so that I can play. Uh, final sparks as our alternate win condition here I'm afraid that we don't have um, he still have a way to stop my attackant with another flash freeze so I'm playing final spark next turn we, we are still able to play our hex deck Transmodulator to generate another final spark. The good thing here is our final spark is now can uh, target the Nexus when the opponent doesn't have a unit. So all we need to do now is to clear his board and then play final spark into directly to, into his Nexus. But I think we should draw. Um. Our Fungward Surgeon because Fungward Surgeon also generate us for Demacia, which means we can have another final sparks. I like to play Hex deck here so that I can generate final spark this turn and probably killing his another force control. Let's transform it into the Clockwork Creator and get some lifesteal from our Radiant Guardian. You've made your path. We are playing Final Sparks. Uh, but probably I will use it into the Clockwork Creator because we need an overwhelm damage. And we are dropping Fungus Surgeon to generate for Demacia. Oh, I think it is a GG for us. <laughs> 163. We are off a kill. 187. Minus 187 is incredible. 
Action hobbling abyss. I will try to search for my concurrent timeline. Here we go. So he is kind of slow deck. Probably we'll just play concurrent timeline this turn. And I still have a mystic shot to for action, but let's draw our concurrent timeline first. We are passing. Hopefully, he drop action here. No action. Let's pass for now. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. I think I should play Mexico Persuader here since he dealing a lot of damage. I think Fortune Croker is better, right? Because he have a better stats. We doesn't get any buff from our Mexi card since we haven't played the six six cost spell. I'm going to drop out of Traveler so that I can remove his Holding Abyss. I think we picked Justice Rider. We made it. Yay. Because she have a continuous effect by putting some flash, flash bomb into uh, opponent deck every time the opponent drawing a card. So when we play concurrent timeline, I think we better play Must be pick nice a card that can have an effect, a continuous effect. I don't want to attack last time because I want to keep my Justice Rider healthy so that we can play it defensively right now. Let's try to hit some Howling Abyss again. Uh, yeah, Rain Shadow Blade is. I think we better pick Rain Shadow Blade. Because it, it creates a Shadow Fiend. And we also draw Ramage. Ramage can discard some Shadow Fiend that created by our Rain Shadow Blade. So we are putting some flash bomb since he play first aquarium. We haven't throw away his holding abyss. We are just throwing away his um, herald of Magus. Let's try once again to remove his holding abyss. Kamapor and Dragon is also good because we can have some life steal by killing a unit. Actually, not a life steal, but draining the opponent Nexus health. So we are discarding Holy Abyss finally after dropping three Alt Travelers. We are just going to attack with. Alright, Shadow Blade, since I cannot, I don't want to lose my Kama Foreign Dragon. Does he want to Flash Freeze? Troll Chen? Yeah, Troll Chen. There's nothing we can do, but we are still generating some, some card from our friend, Shadow Blade. We get the Shadow Fiend. We are passing for now. That's right. Run. Take everything.
We played two mystic shot here to protect my unit and probably did some safety block with our Kama for under again. Because I want to keep my Nexus healthy, he can still have uh, another troll chain to protect his unit. Yeah, another troll chain. Which means I'm losing my Justice Rider, but it will trigger my Radiant Guardian. We'll drop my Radiant Guardian. I will pay Poro Sled probably since it ha it can generate a Poro and it keep his uh, Radiant Guardian keyword, Lifesteal and Tough, so we can heal some damage. Heal Nexus, heal our Nexus. It is time for us to drop blocks here. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Finally, he summoned his whole big abyss. Illuminate the enemy. I don't want to lose my Kama for Enrican, unfortunately. Probably forcing him to block with his Herald of Magus. <laughs> He's still able to kill my Poroslet with Exception. Here we go. I should attack with Kama for Dragon too, but it is what it is. Let's discard our Shadow Fiend and Ramage maybe. We don't really need Ramage anymore since we have some good card in our hand like Voltician and Mexican. You cannot run from absolution. He's finally find his action. Let's fast forward now. His action have a good stat since he already played the Hair of Magus. Um, let's discount our remembrance. Because I'm afraid that I can I will generate a naked Radiant Guardian and I cannot take too much damage from his Echo too. Let's play Remembrance I guess. But we cannot generate a final spar unfortunately by playing Remembrance. I think Wizen Wizard is better because it keep generating generating a spell mana for us. And we are going to play for Dimasia next turn. I guess. And force him to block with his echo of course. Because all of his champion now is having a overwhelm. Let's draw some unit. Oh, actually, we are generating some final sparks by playing this static shock. Symphonic strike. Okay. It doesn't kill my Lux, since my Lux have 6 health. <laughs> I think he did some misplay. <laughs> he should play... 
he should play his um, symphonic strike with his echo, not his uncharged. <laughs> We play against Mono, sorry, my deck. So I'm going to just play Remembrance But I need my... I need my concurrent timeline too Would you look at this place? It's just the same that if he try to pull my unit with my Great Horn Companion with his Rock Hopper. Well, he have a lot of riding sense, unfortunately. Contain the arcane. I don't have a better play. Oh, probably we'll just play concurrent timeline first before dropping our Max Seeker. I run a bloody path through Shorima. You're lucky we have a common <laughs> enemy. At least we are together again. He happens to slay any unit. Even my Mexicar is stronger than his Nasus, you know. Slay any of my unit, unfortunately. My I wanted this. So if I single combat here, probably he will surrender, right? Ha ha ha, GG. 